lovelies and welcome back to my youtube channel today we are going to be practicing this yoga gentle flow to help release menstrual cramps relieve your pain and just allow you to be more mindful of yourself so i started with, with some child's pose and just catching my breath and now i'm going to cat cow inhale head is up exhale i'm looking towards my belly button inhale and exhale squeezing the belly button in and out after that you're going to release your left leg inhaling and as you exhale you're pulling that leg your knee towards your heart center now guys go in and out align your abdomen to lift up and go down as you bring your head and release your legs to the back we're just going to try and repeat it on the right hand side and just squeeze in and exhale inhale and exhale we're going to do that one more time inhale and then exhale now guys we're going to go straight all the way holding as much as we can lifting up the left leg flexing and pointing the toes after that we're going to release that leg all the way up and grab with the right hand stretching in this alternating leg and hand stretch by tucking our belly button in and pulling the legs after grabbing the left leg we're going to repeat the same on the right side by flexing and pointing and lifting up and grabbing with the left side so guys this pose is very important for stretching our back and uh, a little bit of our stomach but at the same time um, stretching and warming up our joints now we're going to come up to this flow in camel pose inhale release your right hand towards the back exhale back to center inhale release the left hand towards the back exhale back to center we're going to keep doing this in and out until we feel really really warmed up around the upper body and straight to the back now guys when you teach your back your head towards the back remember to allow your stomach to just be there as it helps to relieve pain on the lower abdomen and you have to just stretch the arms and all the joints all the way towards the glute area now we're going to come into this re into this full camel pose grabbing the back of the knees and dropping into full kapasana when you're there you lift up your head and allow yourself to walk with your arms inhale you're pulling exhale head down and you're coming back to center now guys we're going to just sit here opening up your thighs a little bit more and we're going to stretch out stretch out opening up the chest towards the ceiling and just align your neck to be long after that we're just going to come back to center lift up our right arm towards the left hand side and drop it as we exhale so guys for you to see what i'm doing i'm going to turn over to this side so you can really see your legs are open and you're lifting up your right hand inhaling all the way to that side and exhale back to center we're going to do it one more time inhale and exhale one more time inhale and exhale now we're going to sit deeply into it by aligning our chest to face the ceiling and repeat it on the left hand side inhale and exhale inhale sweep and exhale one more inhale and exhale now lift up both hands towards the ceiling hands to your heart center and bring it all the way grabbing your knees releasing your back and just arcing it a little bit more and just stretch your chest and stretch your neck guys we're slowly going to try one more time again and come back to center now guys we're going to go to these gentle leg stretches and a little bit of supine twist here and there so this leg stretch you can do it according to your own level if you want your heels to be up or you want your toes to be down whatever you want just try it so this leg stretch is good for releasing all the tension for the back and just allowing you to feel a little bit you know more relaxed on the inside now we're going to come into this seated supine twist placing our left leg and align our right elbow to push against our left knee while looking towards the back after that we're going to come stretching in the leg stretch on the left hand side sit into the heels and just lengthen all the way out on the toes on the other side now guys you want to relax pushing a little bit more and just be here for as long as you want to 
after that we're going to re- repeat the supine twist now towards your right hand side that is the left hand is pushing against the, the right knee and we're just going to sit and twist a little bit tucking the belly button in now guys we're going to come into this alternating leg stretch okay so you're grabbing your right hand together with your left leg and releasing your left hand towards the back twist it's not that deep it's a very gentle stretch that just allows you to open up your body and it just helps you to feel lighter than you did before you actually practice the pose so guys grab onto the other side from the side of the soles of your feet stretch tuck your belly button in your gaze is towards the back and just allow yourself to just relax into it and stretch as as much as you can now guys we are going to come into this seated pose and guys i want to say this that um your period is a time that your body is shedding letting go of so many things and it can be hard but it's good for you to be mindful and aware of yourself be present with what you're feeling try to take it slow meditate be present just do some breathing exercises and stretch you need movement at this time you need to keep warm you need to try and stretch your body as much as you can look forward to having your period don't get too anxious don't get too scared just prepare your mind and then you see how much your body will lose as you go I hope you really enjoyed this practice. If you did, don't forget to leave a comment in this on this on the video in the video so I will know when to make videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.